What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Anonymous, the author, a.k.a. Anonymous Rap Guy, and I am back with another podcast episode, man. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a long time since I've dropped one of these things. If, if you're watching, if you're new, if you're just checking back in, um, I am streaming now. Uh, I am going to try to do a streaming live podcast and hopefully incorporate eventually down the line like some Q&A stuff and talking with people and chatting. But uh, right now, I'm just trying to get everything right <laughs> for the first stream. I have my homie Friendly stop by, so I appreciate you, Friendly, for cut for uh, jumping in the stream. And um, yeah, man, I'm just going to you know do what I always do, touch on a couple things, be goofy as heck, uh, give my opinions on some stuff, and uh, talk about some craziness. I figure I might as well talk about the thing that everybody's talking about. You know what I mean? Like, I might as well just get this out the way. Like, uh, since it's been so long, I mean, a million and one things have happened in the world, so I'm not going to act like that uh this is just something like oh this is the one thing but the by far the thing that everybody's been talking about that's just it's, for some reason has caused a kerfuffle in the world was Will Smith smacking Chris Rock and I as a comedian you know I did two or three shows so I'm a comedian you know I got paid for a couple so hey professional over here that's what that's, that's the story I'm going with um I mean, honestly, I don't care. Uh, you know, people get hit at comedy shows all the time. I listen. I went to the, my first open mic. Dude was telling a jokey joke, and somebody was, hey, he would look like he was about to smack him. He was telling, uh, like in a, uh, he was t- he kind of reminded me of like Anthony Jeselnik. I don't know if you guys are familiar with who that is, but he's a kind of like edgy, raunchy comedian, and he was telling some jokes that wasn't hitting. Somebody in the crowd was like, "Hey, calm it down." And we was like, "Hey, look, we 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 uh, we." I'm going to go ahead and sit over here. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I thought somebody was going to go to fisticuffs. And, um, I mean, that's just what it is. Like, sometimes if your jokes ain't hitting, some people get offended and they be ready to, to, to fight. And, hey. But, I mean, hey, shout out Will Smith, man. I don't, I didn't like Will Smith. I thought everything that was going on with him and, and Jada Smith, with Jada Pinkett, I was like, oh, Will, you look, you look a little rough, bro. But, you know, ever since the smack, I kind of support it. You know what I'm saying? I like. I mean, I don't support the smack, but I'm like, all right, well, I, you, I might have had you wrong, brother. And that might have been the point of it all, but you know, sometimes you got somebody got to get slapped. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I don't condone it. I think everybody needs to be. Hey, let me use my words to defuse any situation. But if words ain't working, you know, I'm anarchy anonymous though, so you can't expect me to be like, hey, we should all have civil discourse. I mean, we should all have civil discourse, but. When that civil discourse breaks down, you got to put your hands on somebody. I mean, it's, it's just it's just the facts. I'm sorry. I don't want it to be this way. But if you you out in the field somewhere, you know what I'm saying, and somebody got, uh, you know, an atomic bomb with a button, and they got the button in their hand, and you say, hey, bro, don't, don't push that button. And they say, hey, I got to push this button, man. It's the only way that I can get to the fairies. And you're like, bro, what is you talking about? He said, I got to push the button to get to the fairies. Now, you can either, one, try to reason with him and say, hey, listen, you're talking crazy. That's a button that's going to kill everybody. Or you could slap him and, and make him drop the, the remote. Now, that's an extreme example, obviously. But what I'm saying is sometimes somebody got to get slapped, okay? <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's the point of what I'm saying. Putting your hands on somebody sometimes is the last resort to get a point across. In my situation, it was to save everybody in town by slapping this random person. But it the point stands. Hands will save the day sometimes. He is a legend now. I'm like I am legend. Listen, with I I bro, I didn't see it live, but just the video, just the wow. I was a woo he. He meant that slap, bro. <laughs> Listen, I like Chris Rock, okay? But I bet you his jokes be a little sharper now. I bet you. <laughs> this is going to be good for the, the later years of Chris Rock. Because, look, Chris Rock old, okay? Chris Rock is a, is, is a statesman, all right? He's been here for a minute. Elder statesman, I'm sorry. He's been here for a minute. He one of the OGs, one of the legends. You know what I mean? So he, he going to be fine. You know what I mean? If it was a younger comedian, I might have a problem with it. But Chris Rock going to be fine. He going to make millions on millions. You know? But, man. Will Smith wasn't playing. Do you see the... the he's a high, fresh print. Hey, listen. That was a fresh pimp right there. He's a... He's a... But, listen. We're not going... 
we're not going to stick on that. We're going to move on and move forward to other topics that deserve our attention. Okay, first off. First off, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. If y'all ain't seen that video, just watch the video, Will Smith. It's just, just the visual is just hilarious. But the next topic that I want to talk about today was... Uh, I don't know if y'all have seen the video. I don't know if y'all have seen the topic of what's going on. But uh, apparently there's a, a rapper named Gunu. Gunu. Apparently this young gentleman passed away. This this young man is no longer with us. He is a rapper who made the rappy words. And after his passing, the people in his life made an executive decision. They made a choice. Okay. To ensure that his memory lived on. And by that, I mean, they brought his dead body to the club. Now, now I know what y'all thinking. I know what people are thinking. I know, I know the perception. Okay. I know the ideas and the revelations and the complications. Okay. I know where you're coming from. Y'all probably thinking, why? That's what you're thinking. That's what you believe in. You're thinking, why? Why would this man, this human man, this dead human man, want to be in the club after he has been dead. And I really don't have a comment for that. But what I will say is this, okay? What I will say, what I will Smith say is this. If tomorrow I was to drop dead, like just, just, huh, oh, and be gone. I don't want a funeral. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I need. I don't need a funeral. I'm fine with being cremated for real. Like, like when I honestly think about it, like I'd be cool with being cremated. But, 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 but what I'm saying is, I want a ceremony on my way out. At least give me the funeral. You don't have to bury a body, but just, just you know, look out for your boy. And I think that's what his family was doing. They said, you know what? What was what was young Gunu known for? Young Gunu was known for tearing up the club. You know what I'm saying? Young Gunu had the bars for the honeys. So why not in his remembrance, in his last day, in his going home service, why not put him up in the club? You know what I'm saying? You you die by the you die by the you live by the gun, you die by the sword or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So why not? I support it, personally. I think more people need to be like young Gunu. Gunu, however you say the young man's name. Rest in, rest in paradise, young king. We're not going to joke about the death, uh-uh. Because -uh. violence is always unnecessary, especially, especially when taking a young life. But I'm down for putting a dead body in the club. You know what I'm saying? Half the women these days, let me stop. All I'm going to say is that sometimes surgery, okay, I'm going to say it. Half the women in the club these days got dead body parts and don't know it yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, 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 that ain't even they whole titty. You know what I'm saying? But we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to. We're not going we're not gonna to talk about that. We we positive on this side. You know what I'm saying? We, we love it. All right? We love it. The levels right now okay all right yeah that's better that's better that's better all right so i think i think i got this i think i got i keep i keep starting over and starting again but i, I think i really do get this now okay because i think i was blowing my uh i think it was blowing the uh the whatchamacallit all right so as i was saying pretty much as as i've been saying is that uh 
I don't really like Joe Biden. Um, <laughs> sorry. I don't know. I'm not really political, man. But um, that being said, that being said, Old Spice is one of the best body washes of all time. That's just a complete side note. Anyway, um, yeah, man. I just, I, I, I just don't know what people expect. You should be able to put a dead body in the club. I mean, that I, I don't. People offended talking about, hey, you should, you shouldn't have somebody who's dead, you know, and you know, you shouldn't have, display their body like that. Why not? Half these people got fleshy pig faces that they didn't pay for from their local plastic surgeon, and they show it down every Friday and Saturday down at the local drinkery. So why can't they display? You know, it's all the same. The rest in peace, young Gunu. Live it up, fam. That's how, oh, the video. It's somebody at the end of the video. He just looked to the side like, bro, what is happening? <laughs> Listen, you gotta watch the video the day they posted on the TMZ. It's hilarious. Like I, I, but it's just it is it is shocking to see though. It's like, whoo! Like when you when you see it, I ain't gonna lie to you. Just be like, oh yeah, yeah. When I first saw it, I was just sitting there and took it. I was like, it it make you go, oh, that is a whole body. But you know, it is what it is. I just I remember last year somebody was up on a. Uh, somebody was up on like a a a, a chair and they was dead. So. Different strokes for different folks, you know. Different customs for different hustlers, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I was trying to say. But, you know, different things for different wings, you know. Whatever floats your boat. But anyway, next topic, man. Uh, what are we going to talk about next? Um, so... I'm 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 debating on these next two topics because <sighs> here's my dilemma. I could go into Marvel, um, Moon Knight. That's that's where I'm I'm going. Or I could talk about Black China. And I think I'm gonna go for Moon Knight. I can I can highlight Black China. You know, at the end at the end here. Um. But let's just jump into Moon Knight. I watched the first episode, okay? Let, let's talk about it, all right? We we, we we some free thinkers on this side, okay? Just because it's Marvel don't mean it's good, all right? Just because it's Sony don't mean it's trash, all right? But that new Morbius, if I'm being honest, you know, we, you know, we ain't going to talk about it. But what I'm saying is this. I was not a fan of the Moon Knight. I didn't like it. The first episode, the CGI was obvious in a lot of different shots. I understand it's a TV show, okay? I, but I'm going to get this off my chest. Maybe I need to watch more episodes. Maybe they, because I need to see all of it. Because I, the, man, I was trying to get into it. I thought they was going to kind of, because I, I'm, if y'all don't know, because I got I got to go into the whole history. I've been busy, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, but uh, I've recently become a voice artist and voiceover artist. And doing that, and in doing that, I get like scripts to certain things that people write up about things that are going on currently. And I got a script about uh, Moon Knight. It was just a, uh, like a, a voiceover for a YouTube channel, basically, that was just talking about him. And it gave like a history and everything. So I learned really quickly about what the character was about. And so I knew kind of the general way that they were going uh, or they were going to go. or And I had a little expectation of the way that I was hoping that they were going to go. But I don't like the way it was told, man. Now, this is coming from a person who did not read the comic book. I did not at all read Moon Knight comics, so I'm not even going to act like I'm familiar with what's going on. But I do know that he suffers, you know, from those. I don't want to give anything away after watching the first episode. So he does suffer from those glimpses, you know, spaces and time that he's missing. Let's just say that. Um, I guess because they're not going to go into the full like what's going on with him. So he does suffer from spaces and time that he misses for whatever one reason or another. And um, it didn't really, I thought they were going to like kind of do the slow reveal of like what was going on with him, but they kind of just jump you right into it. Like he's missing all this chunks of time. He's 
trying to lock himself in. He's doing this and that. And I mean, I don't, I don't think it was the most effective way to tell the story on just watching it on just seeing it for the first time, like sitting there, even if I didn't know the backstory of it and I was just watching it, like trying to get into it. I don't think I would be able to get that much into it, man. I really don't think I could because just watching it like that, it was just very, it just came off as very jarring. Like seeing it like that, I was just like, Ooh, like this is, this is what this is this is what this show gonna be about. Okay, well we'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? That that's just what it came off as, and I didn't. I don't know. I I guess I didn't really like it. Uh, but they ain't gotta listen to me. You know what I'm saying? They really don't have to. It was just it was just weird because the director, uh, I think his name was Muhammad Diab Diab, I believe. He was talking about how uh, you know Wonder Woman was a terrible representation of Egypt. And I'm not going to lie and disagree about that because, I mean, most places it's not American Hollywood when they depict it. They depict it as, like, super stereotypical. <laughs> like, <laughs> whenever they depict British, Britain or anything like that, it's always somebody like, oh, hell, the queen. You know what I mean? It's, like, always, it's always super stereotypical. Anything in the Middle East, everybody's in, like, you know, uh everybody's walking on sand like there's no cities there's no like it's all just dirt roads like anybody anything in hollywood that's depicted outside of the u.s it's like print like they like yeah they have they've just discovered fire like that's how they treat it um and most so i, I was with him on that but like his depiction of it wasn't i don't know it, he, it didn't like have any like a feel of like this is egypt it's just like I, like i said this is the first episode so maybe i'm being harsh on it maybe i'm being a little like overbearing on uh you know what's what, but I just didn't get the feel like this is what it's, you know like this is this is what it's hyped up as this is what this is what y'all wanted you know what I'm saying. But I digress. I tried my best, but I digress. I just wasn't feeling it. Oh, my little man's up. My little man. Um, she's taking a little nap behind me. Um. <laughs> he literally stood up just to reposition that going back to sleep. Like he'll sleep all day and then be up all night and just terrorize him my whole life. So I love him, but God, he may he may sleep so hard to attain sometimes. And then he just does this all day. And I I'm recording podcasts and I'm doing voiceovers and stuff. And he's just like, no, let me just dig on against your door for three hours straight, and I'm just losing my mind. But <laughs> I love him, man. I definitely love him. But yeah, um, I was, I'm trying to read, um, yeah, yeah, I, I just wish, I guess with the whole, you know, in a conclusion, I guess with the whole Wonder Woman thing, it's just, I wish that they had done more for, like, mental health, mental awareness, I wish they had, had, you know, I just wish that they had done things differently. And obviously that's selfish of me to say because nobody cares what I think of what for a freaking Marvel franchise TV show. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, 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 I'm just, I don't, blah, 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 blah. You know, words just aren't happening right now. Words aren't forming at all in my mouth. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, we'll see what happens in episode two. We'll see how, how much sharper it gets. We'll see, um, you know, how they bring it all together and, and, uh, and, and what happens. But that first episode was, was, I wasn't feeling it. I, I wasn't feeling the reveal of, you know, all the, the, the goings on. I wasn't feeling the, nothing. No, I mean, I did like the tattoo. The tattoo was cool. I will say that. The tattoo on homie's wrist. He, I say, I'm pretty sure that's Kevin Bacon. Uh, that was on his wrist in that, uh, you know, did the, the thingy and read it. That was pretty cool. That was pretty. And it was like red and it was like bow. And then Shorty turned into Ash. Listen, that was deep. Uh, <laughs> like, listen, I'm just not going to touch you. Like, is that for everything? Like, is that just like whoever he touches? Like, or is it only when the, when the thing crawls? Because I'm like, listen, you, nah, bro. you not, we're not shaking hands, bro. You stay over there, sir. Okay. I done done some things in my life. Okay. All right. Because what's the sin? I, it's because technically, you know, I eat chicken. Chicken ain't never hurt nobody. I'm call, I'm the reason that chicken dead. Because I'm buying it. They got to replace it. So they got to get more. I'm hunt, help fund the business. So it's my fault that the chicken, an innocent chicken was murdered. Is that weighed against my life? That's what I'm saying. Let me know the rules first. 
You can't judge me, all right? You over here looking like young Einstein with the shape, with, with, with the hair, bro. You can't judge me, okay? Ain't looking like you didn't bathed in months. Talk about you gonna judge me, okay? With your ashy elbows, huh? You gonna judge me with the ashy elbows? Nah, bro. You're not gonna kill me with ashy elbows. If I'm getting assassinated by somebody, they better be moisturized. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Looking like old Jesus. Jesus. That's why Jesus out, Jesus was out of here at 33. He looking like if Jesus had stayed a little longer. You know what I'm saying? Jesus hung around. You know what? I'm going to just see what's going on this next couple of centuries. And then, you know. Ah, I forgot my keys. And <laughs> he just stayed for the next. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> that's what. Kind of <laughs> that's who do look like. <laughs> Like if <laughs> Jesus was on his way back, he was on his way back home. Like he was back, he was he was just about to he was about to ascend this year thirty three, and God was like, "Hey, come on back, bro. We you know this is your time served." And he was like, "Okay." He got on the cloud, and he was about to ascend back up into heaven, and he was like, "Ah, I forgot my keys," and he just <laughs> he just stuck around Earth for the next you know twenty years. That's what that's who Kevin Bacon character looked like in Moon Knight. You know what I'm saying? That's what it looked like. Uh, Cause he he got listen shouts out to him, but he got a leathery face. I'm pretty sure that's Kevin Bacon, right? I, I got my that's Kevin Bacon. Yeah, I know I ain't crazy. I know Kevin Bacon. Oh, oh, that's Ethan Hawke. Oh, my bad. Hey, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. That's Ethan Hawke. Hey, that's my bad. My bad, Ethan Hawke. I thought you was, I thought you had the, the, um, I thought he had the, the, I'd be, uh, I, listen, I'm blind. Okay. We, we're going to call it what it is. I ain't perfect. All right. That's why when I, listen, I don't, as a man, okay, as a guy. When you pee, do you ever just like, do you ever just be like, okay, like you take the, like, it's a second, like you don't just, ah, uh, cause when I'm sure when women pee, they just kind of sit down and just, ah, we, you know, they cool. But as a man, like you gotta be like, okay, wait a minute. Like, you know, you gotta aim like, all right, I'm lying. <laughs> like, that is a, that is a pain. I don't think women will ever know to be like, okay. Like, cause the, the moment that, like, I don't know if like, cause when you, at a, when you, words, man. When you at a toilet, sometimes with the lid, you got to lift it up and then you pee. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes, not a lot. It don't happen often. But sometimes you go into the bathroom, right? And the lid is open. The top lid is open. But then that middle lid is down. From previous use, maybe you didn't pull and left the top one up. Maybe you, your girl and somebody, your mom or your sister, somebody didn't, didn't pee and left it up. But the top is down. And you got to pee. You know what I'm saying? And you got a decision to make. Now you can take the split, the, the split two, three seconds to lift that lid, or, or if you're feeling risky, <laughs> if you're willing to put it all on the line, you can try to pee through that the top lid. Now listen, listen, this requires a level of expertise that some people, just, some some men just ain't got. It does. Listen, I, listen, fellas, we're going to talk about it, okay? Because people don't talk about it. Men need to talk about it, okay? Sometimes you're feeling risky. You say, I could lift this lid, or I think I got control of this stream. I can just slow, plow right through it, cut it off, no drippage, no, no, no. You know, sometimes when you stop peeing, it just, it just, it, it fall down like a deck of cards. It just, ah, and everything beneath it just get wet. But sometimes if you can, you know, Stop that water main and all the water is whoop, real quick, but and there ain't no drippage. So if you good, you can just ah, and stop it before it drip. Now, some people ain't built like that. I remember when I was young, I thought to myself, hey, I ain't got to lift up the top lid. Why I got to lift up the lid? You know what I'm saying? I can just pee and then I leave it down. Let the trickle whole thing look like I didn't just splashed. I didn't. You know, play the water polo in the toilet. Now I'm like, oh, I gotta get the water. I gotta get the, the toilet paper, clean it all up. That's not fair to me. They think I'm in there, you know, pooing it, bro, bro, but in there for 30 minutes. Little do they know I'm playing, you know, a, a, a j damn janitor trying to get up all these pee stains. And ain't nothing worse than peeing over your friend's house 
And you, oh, I done peed a little bit on the floor. And then you get down there to clean up your pee, and it's like 20 other speckles of pee. And now you face to face with the pee pee, but you got to get, hey, I can't be responsible for not p- p- getting my pee. That's disrespectful. But then at the same time, you're like, damn, bro, you ain't, you ain't even washed your shower in 20. You know, then you got to make a decision on if he's going to be your friend, all because you done peed on the floor. So what I'm saying is this, believe in yourself, okay? And understand who you are as a person. Because if you if you think you can just, I don't know. I don't know if people are ready for this level of, of conversation. Men, men who stand in pee. Why do men still stand? Like, I, I mean, I understand, like, it's like that it's functional, like, to do. But it's like, why have we not, we got bidets now. You know what I'm saying? We can't get the waterfall in the bathroom. That don't come standard. Because that's nice. You ain't got to aim. You just literally, ha ha, and just, ah, you know what I'm saying? Men can't get the benefit. I feel like all toilets are made for women, if we being honest. Every bathroom situation. Well, most things in the world, as far as comforts are. I think benefit, not benefit, but women do comfort better than men, I think. That's my sexist view of the day. Come for me if you want to. I know you don't want to cancel me. But I think women do comfort better than men. So with that being said, women can't hook up a a waterfall, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. They can make the, the water splash your booty, but they can't make a, a standing piece, though. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, Okay. I want to feel like I'm in the lap of luxury. I want to be able to just, ah, I just go anywhere I want to. Women sit down and just, just, they can do anything. You know what I'm saying? They can flap their hands. They let we pee. We got to, whoo, right there. You know what I'm saying? Women don't never know the focus and the concentration that is required to just drain the snake. Okay? And I'm jealous. Okay, listen, we're going to get on a rant today, all right, about why women are better than men, okay? This is, my theory is this. This is going to sound crazy. The reason that, I, maybe, I don't know if I stole this from somebody, so pardon me, but sometimes I listen to philosophers, men who are above their time. So I'm going to say it like this. I think that the reason women mature faster than men is because they sit when they use the bathroom. Hmm? Think about that. Think about that. Use your mind power for this. Listen, people. Women sit. They can relax. They have more brain power to access because they're not stressing over nothing. They, oh, I get to sit back and just let the drizzle drizzle. You know what I'm saying? That's what they doing. Meanwhile, men, we got to we gotta make sure that we the, the, the line is straight. You don't want to get it all over the place. You don't want to have to clean up that mess, so you focus, you alert. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. We our brains are wired differently. They got different time. They said that you know what? I do need to get my finances in order. That's why women, by large, create more income for their families than men do. I don't know if that's true. I just be saying stuff. But what I'm saying is this. That's all I'm saying. That's why men's stress levels are through the roof right now. Young boys are so all of that. Just for the simple fact that women get to sit back and just drizzle, they drizzle. Think about it. Hey, you know what? I think I am going to go to school, study. I know what I want to do in my life. Because they can reflect. They can access their own thoughts and minds, figure themselves out. That's why they mature faster. Man don't mature till he's 21, 18. He's still, you know. When I was 18, I was I didn't know what I was doing. I was still chasing tail, still chasing booty. Meanwhile, it's it, you know, girls taking nursing classes in vocational schools in 17, 18. I couldn't think past the end of my tip, you know what I'm saying? But that wasn't my journey. Because I was standing pain. I'm worried about what's going on over here. Meanwhile, she already decided, you know what, I will go get my doctorate and move on to higher education and give back to my community. She had that luxury because she sat when she peed. So, men, I'm telling you this. Women, I'm telling you this. I don't know what I'm telling you. But what I'm saying is that sometimes women have an advantage over men biologically. Sure, we're stronger physically. That Ain't worried about that, okay? We're talking, it's 2022. We're talking about the mentalities, okay? (laughs) 
Why do y'all listen to me, bro? Why do y'all just let me? Y'all just let me talk about anything. Y'all just let me. Y'all just. Oh man, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm fat. I'm fat, man. I don't even know how I got on that subject, but I I, I was with it, so we would just go straight with. It. But that's my point, people. Eat your eggs and your bacon. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm talking about. But we're going to move on. What I'm saying is this. I didn't like the Moon Knight first episode. Next topic. Uh, <laughs> Black China is... Um, Black China got dragged online, people. Black China. I don't like the name, but hey, that's what she go by. So the girl named Black China. Don't know if she's Chinese, don't know if she's black, but that's the name. She could be Dominican. I don't know. But apparently she getting dragged online because um, she said she had to give up multiple of her cars, jewelry, and assets because um, simply for the fact that uh, she was a hustler, baby. She getting the cash quicker, okay? That's what she believes. That's what, that's what she theorizes, okay? And I ain't going to act like I don't understand what she's talking about, even though I don't. All right. <laughs> but uh, basically, the baby daddies, uh, Tyga and Rob, were both both came back and was like, girl, what are you talking about? OK, you're talking crazy. OK, you, you're looking goofy. All right. We're going we gonna to break it down to you like this. All right. And then they basically went on to 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 demonstrate to everybody how she only gets her children one day a week. Now, I know what most of y'all are thinking, like, hey. She don't deserve child support because she's only getting her children one day a week, which is true. I Listen, I agree 100%. If you only see your child one day a week and you want the monies and they paying over about 50K each on average for them, they paying that for their babies and you only ain't contributing not that. Y'all thinking, hey, she deserves to not get paid nothing. But what I'm saying is this, people, and y'all need to hear me when, when I say this. I don't care what happens to anybody in this situation. I, I've never had such a deep-seated feeling of just not giving a damn. Like, I, I, I read the story, and I was like, I don't care what happens to anybody on any level. Of any part of the story. So, listen. Just out of pure spite, hate, maybe, maybe that's the right word. Um, I hope that he loses. Um, because you knew what it was. Okay, you. We all knew that she wasn't after them for the love. Okay, she. We. I ain't trying to disrespect that young woman. Okay, I hope that she finds her forever husband. But. She let it be known what she was after. It was a career and it was the cash flow. Now, I support her getting that cash. Now, don't get that confused. I've been on the record saying if somebody is stupid enough to believe your lies, lie to them, baby girl. You, hey, listen, yo, baby, I love, I want, just give me a couple of babies. That's all I mean. Hey, it's love at the moment, it's cute at the time. But nah, nah, I, I don't, I, I, I respect her. I like her for what she did for Rob. That was love on another level. But it wasn't no at the time. Me looking from the outside, inside, I didn't see it as no forever love. That's my opinion. But that it was a different kind of love for a woman coming your life, get you together all the way. Cause she picked that. Rob was looking like a blob, okay, and she picked him up. My man stunting on him right now. I think that listen that black that black woman love to do that to you. You see you get with a you get with a black woman you see her energy her 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 love for herself it pick you up to another level. But that don't mean she loved him. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's just me. That's just me theorizing. Me hating from the outside. But I wish her nothing but the best. Ty can pay that girl twenty thousand a month and keep it moving, bro. This just you know. Just give her 20K. It ain't nothing to a boss, you know? You got it. I don't know. If you don't, 
Put me 15. Listen, give listen, give me 15 and give her five. That way everybody win. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we all good. You know? I'm broke. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Um, it's been real. Um, I don't really got nothing else to say, y'all. Um, feeling sexy. Okay. I will catch y'all on the flip side. Uh, be kind, be dope, but more than anything else, man, be yourself. I will catch y'all next time. Peace. Um, and then it's going to take me a minute to cut this off. So I'm just going to chill on here and tell y'all I missed you.